So I'm going to show you how to make an NFT on Solana using the uh, this uh, blockchain API that we've developed. And uh, it'll be pretty simple, which is uh, the goal here. So you can check the timestamps in the description if you want to fast forward to any particular part because I'm really going to guide you from start to finish. But if you already have a uh, an account on the DevNet um, with um, with a, a balance, then you can immediately just, just go forward to it. Um, so the first thing I'm going to... Uh, The first thing I'm going to do here is go to um, dashboard.theblockchainapi.com um, and just sign in. And so the first thing is you just need to get an API key to be able to uh, use this. It's pretty simple. You go here, create a key, and then you have the key ID and the secret key. And so we want to copy these down. I'm going to copy them down into a uh, Python program that I'm going to be using for the tutorial. Okay. So now we can close this, and uh, we actually don't have access to the secret key anymore. Okay. So now we're going to go to... Um, the docs here, docs of the blockchain api.com, and uh, this is everything that we need uh, to continue. So, the first thing is we just want to create a wallet. So, you don't actually have to use an existing wallet if you don't want to. Um, we can uh, just pretty pretty easily uh, do this here. So, we can just generate a secret phrase, and that's actually all we need because then we can just use the defaults to uh, get, get that default account. So, the first thing to call this so, once we do this, once we generate the, uh, the secret phrase. Um, then we can use that wallet to generate the NFT. Um, so this is like the first step here. So first we get it and we go to, uh, let's see, we want to post to this endpoint here. So let's copy and paste that and let's say uh, secret phrase endpoint. And um, I already imported request here. Um, and this is the NFT information we're going to use later. But uh, yeah, so first you just say, request I believe it's a post request and um, we got a post here and uh, so we have to supply this to be able to authenticate so the headers are let's just go up here and say headers equal and here it says what we need so API key ID and API secret key say headers equal and so there's no other uh, thing that we need to post here so we can say print okay so let's run this okay so we immediately generate a secret phrase here so we can now just put this and say this is our secret phrase so we can save that here and we can say we can just save this for a later function in case we need it again for whatever reason. After you generate the secret phrase, you're gonna to wanna to derive uh, the public key. Now we can just use this to verify that we're using the correct public key um, so that we can um, uh, airdrop soul to it and then make sure that we're using that same one to uh, mint the NFT. So once we mint the NFT, the public key that we're using um, is going to have the authority to update the NFT if needed. So we want to make sure that we're using the correct one. And so when we actually, when you derive a public key uh, in Solana, you, it's, it's made up of three things. First, the secret recovery phrase, the derivation path, and the pass phrase. You usually don't notice the derivation path because it's hidden by wallets. So when you, uh, so for example, Phantom uh, by default uses this, which is the default here. But if you're using the CLI, it uses actually a different one. So in order to get the correct public key that you're going to be using for the CLI to get the airdrop, just use this one. So if you're um, already using your own wallet rather than creating a new one here, um, just make sure you have the correct one and, and use this endpoint to make sure um, that you're providing these because we're going to need to provide these uh, correctly to get the, uh, to get the right um, address for minting the NFT. So the first thing is... Uh, we're going we're gonna to use this empty string, and we're going to use the secret recovery phrase we just generated. 
um, to get the public key. So we can copy the endpoint here and say public key endpoint. Yes. And um, we can basically use this same thing, except now we need to provide two things. So we're not going to use a passphrase. Um, but we can say derivation path equals uh, empty string. Okay. So we can say, I believe it's a. Uh, and this is full. Okay. And so now we can uh, get the public key here. And it's right here. So this is the response from the API. And uh, so now that we have that, we can do uh, one thing, which is first, we want to be able to. Um, We want to be able to get the balance. So because minting an NFT is going to cost approximately 0.01 SOL. So we want to uh, be able to check the balance before and after the airdrop just to confirm we have enough. Um, so to get the balance, we just po uh, we post a get request to this endpoint and provide the public key. So again, it's a uh, pretty simple. So this is a uh, Okay, so uh, you know, we can basically use this sort of framework and just say public key, that's the one we just got. And we don't need to provide the secret phrase, and we can say get. Okay. Oops, uh, I did the wrong endpoint. I should have done balance endpoint. Okay. So zero, the default is the devnet, and the unit's lamp port. So there's a, a billion lamp ports per soul. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so that's just get, getting the balance here. Okay, so now we want to see how much does it actually cost to mint an NFT. Um, to do that, you can just post get to this endpoint, which will tell you the approximate amount of cost. Um, Okay, so this should be pretty easy. We don't need any of that. And we just need to post a simple get request to here. Okay. So now this uh, gives two things. Um, it gives a fee and a description. Um, and so in here, uh, it describes exactly you know, how it's calculated, um, where you can also derive you can make the same derivation and then it gives you the fee estimate. So it's about 0 0.01 sold plus uh, rent plus uh, transaction fees. Um, so right now, you know, we have zero, so we need to get that. And to do that, because we're using the devnet, we can just airdrop to that address. Uh, so we go to the terminal. Oops. Um, and we say Solana keygen recover. So I'm going to assume you have the Solana CLI installed. If you don't, there's a link in the description. It's like two commands. It's pretty easy. Um, and uh, yeah, so Solana Keygen Recover. Uh, I have a different um, thing. So it wants me to use four because so, I already did this. I already have one saved here. Um, and so if you don't want to use four, so you can also save it to a, a local file. Um, OK, and then just copy and paste this. And and we don't have a passphrase, so it was empty, so we press enter. And uh, see, that matches here. So it, um, it used, the, um, used the, the same path we did. So continue, yes, great. OK, so now we can say Solana airdrop one. OK, great. And now we can put this same function. So let's say this is a death get. NLT mint fee that was a function we did before. But now we can run this one again. And uh, we can check it because before it was zero and now it should be a billion. Um, so great. Now we actually can mint the NFT. Um, so because we have enough uh, to, to provide for that. So again, the default is um, we need a, the default is uh, to use the devnet. Um, so now let's just go through these uh, request body. So this is gonna. This is used to derive the wallet, um, so that there's no uh, ambigu ambiguity. So if you just provide the secret recovery phrase in a public key, um, we can't actually.
be sure because for example we can't actually be sure that we can uh, derive the proper credentials to make the nft that's why you have to provide all of this um, because for example you can actually make an infinite amount of public keys with the same secret recovery phrase um, so there's no real way of checking each one to see how you made it um, so so we've, let's just provide these because you already know what these are so let's form that request so it's going to be just exactly what we're doing here and uh, actually we can copy this and it's the exact same thing uh, but we need to change this endpoint really quickly so we can do that uh, up here and uh, now we have everything we can easily provide everything here so nft name nft symbol so let's just go through this i'm just going to put none as a placeholder so that we have everything we need you can actually just call it without providing any of this so the only one that's required is that secret recovery freeze. Um, and assuming you have enough balance in that address that's created with a default, it will just create an NFT with empty strings and uh, an empty dictionary for the metadata for, for everything. So, um, okay, NFT upload method and network. So the network we're gonna leave is DevNet. And so um, there's one last thing to explain. Um, before we call the method, which is the upload method. So if you, um, we're gonna use S3. So S3, this method will actually save uh, the NFT and all of this info into a file on S3 in the blockchain API in one of their buckets. Um, and then it will put the link to that public file in the blockchain. Um, if you use the link method, it actually won't use S3 at all, it'll just upload the link you provide um, for the NFT URL on the blockchain. Um, but the uh, metadata and the description won't be saved because there's actually no room for that. Um, so it actually just ignore these values because they're not actually stored in the blockchain. They're only stored in S3 if you use that upload method. So um, now that we have all this, we could have used the default, but I'm just being explicit here. We're actually going to use this stuff that I already created. So this is a Wario image of Elon Musk. Um, and so we can just copy and paste those into the values here. And uh, we're almost done. And then we just post. And this takes about 60 seconds. Okay, so it says improperly coded JSON. Okay, so actually um, what I did wrong here was I provided a dictionary. And so this actually has to be encoded with JSON. So we just import JSON, it's default library in Python. And we say, uh, I believe JSON uh, dumps. Yeah. And uh, we can actually just confirm this really quick that that does what we need, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so it uh, creates this uh, string here. Let's try that. Okay, so it seems like it's working. Uh, and then that takes about 50 seconds. The reason it takes so long is that it actually uh, makes four transactions. So it has to create the account, then initialize the mint, then um, I think upload the initial metadata and then update the metadata. This is actually not just one transaction. Um, and this can uh, take a bit of time. Okay, great. So uh, now it responded with this and I can show you a couple things. Um, so let's just make this a little readable. So it gave us back the name and the symbol, which is stored in the blockchain, the uh, URL, which we provided, and the, uh, the update authority address, which if you notice, um, this matches uh, this. So we have the authority to update the NFT if we need to. Um, and then the uh, M mint, so, the, so it created an account. And so what the mint address and the mint secret recovery phrase are, are basically the, uh, the account to uh, for the actual NFT account, okay? And so actually, if you go here and you go to uh, explorer.solana.com, and you type in that address, 
it'll take you to um, oh so it says account but see we're on mainnet beta and we did it on we did it on devnet but if you go here it'll show nft uh, exactly what we want okay and so um, it has everything we need here and then if you go to uh, this address um, it uh, yeah, so it has everything we need. So it provided the metadata, provided the, descri the description here, name, uh, and then the URL. All right. Uh, thank you. If you have any questions, um, feel free to email us, info at theblockchainapi.com. Uh, you can also uh, open up a GitHub request. Um, uh, a new issue on our uh, repository, I'll put the link in the description um, to be able to create any other feature requests or anything you might want. All right. Thank you so much.